gods. I really thought I was done for. I suppose. Hey guys, Vince Luca here, and I apologize for my voice. I'm a little bit under the weather, but uh, today we're gonna be robbing the vault underneath the bank of Baldur's Gate. And uh, you're gonna notice that in this first room, there's gonna be like a purple thing on the floor here, and you're gonna try to jump across or whatever, and it's always gonna teleport you out of the room if you go onto that uh, purple rune. So what you want to do is have a character on each side of the room here and uh, throw an arrow at the button right in the middle here. It's a bit hard to get to on the PlayStation, but throw an arrow as soon as you do. Change character to the other side of the room and throw an arrow at the other button, which is directly across from it. And uh, I think you have to do them pretty close to each other uh, to deactivate the ruin. And then you could come in and start looting the uh, vaults and uh, at the end of the video I'll show you what's inside each of these vaults um, what you want to do is also bring a lot of lock picks uh, toolkits to unlock these there's a lot of vaults and you might attempt a few times so for this door here you want to click on the these buttons here in order those four buttons and it's gonna open this door and then you can go in there and there's a bunch of vaults that are easy to access and open. This one was a bit tricky. In this room here you have gates. And uh, I decided to transform into a, a cat. And then have someone maybe throw me through one of these like little holes here. And I was like impossible that, they, that that's the way in. But you could actually throw a cat through the, the gate. And... If you do that, you'll be on the other side of the gate. Um, if there's an easier way, let me know in the comments. But this is how I figured out how to get into this part of the uh, vault. So I'm just going to open one here. Uh, I think I have the key for this one. If you have the key, you can open it as a cat. If you don't, you're going to have to retransform to use lockpicks. Um, but that one was pretty good. There's some gold and stuff in there. So uh, you could jump through the gates as a cat. So you might not need to be thrown <laughs> through the gate by another character. So just transform into something small and uh, jump through the gate. One of your characters on your team, I'm sure, has the uh, transformation ability. So just do that and transform and go to all these different vaults. Uh, I'm just testing them now to see if I have the key for them. Uh, this one I think I have the key for, so let's see what's in here. There's a lot of ingot and gold, so silver, gold, that's probably going to be worth a lot, so that's pretty good. Uh, if you have some lockpicks, transform back to your human form, and because you have fingers now, you can lockpick these vaults. And uh, they're hard, they're all difficulty class 20, so they're going to be hard. Um, if you go to the end of the vaults, you might find these gloves that give you the knock ability. So you could put those on and you'll have the the knock spell, I guess. And then this unlocks doors by just knocking on them. And uh, you could open safes like that if you're um, having a hard time or if you run out of lock picks, use the knock. Uh, this one was useless. There was just clothes and stuff in here, but at the end of the video I'll show you what each one has so that you don't waste your time on empty vaults and vaults that have nothing. Uh, don't waste any of your lockpicks on those, uh, but I'll put that at the end of the video. So even as a small character here, um, you could jump through the gate so you don't have to be a cat, but you can't come out for some reason. I don't know if this is a bug or if the developers intended it or not, but you can jump out of it as a small character. You need to be a cat, but once you're inside, you could be a small character. Uh, I don't know. It's a bit, it's a bit weird. It's a bit confusing, but just make yourself small and you'll be able to go through these gates by jumping. Now, uh, south of the bank, there's also the docks, which has a lot of good stuff. So if you want to get to the docks and uh, just open this door here, 
go invisible and go in and open as many chests as you can you could do this multiple times if if you miss some chests but you have about 10 seconds so if you look at my bottom left of the screen it says invisible eight seconds or eight whatever it's probably not seconds but it's uh, ticking down so now i'm at invisible seven so you have that's basically the amount of time you have to run around and open chests in the uh, docks here without uh, starting a fight or killing anybody and these chests are really good there's a bunch of um, gold and expensive items and gems and jewels and stuff like that so uh, it's really worth it if you have a way of going invisible, an invisibility scroll or something. Uh, make sure, you know, you last at least 10 turns with it. And uh, now I have like two seconds left or one. And I think I'm going to just open this last chest over here. Hopefully I make it in time. I even have to lockpick it. Uh, so yeah, bring someone that has good lockpicking skill as well. And you can open and pick up stuff. When your invisibility runs out, the guard is automatically going to tell you what are you doing here. And uh, basically try to get out of that. If you do, um, you'll just be teleported out of town, I think. But you'll get to keep all the stuff you stole from all those chests. And uh, you could do this a few times. So you could you know, do it once for one boat, do it again for another boat, and so on. And uh, you should be okay. So uh, let's go into the vaults now. So this part of the video is just to show you what's inside each of these vaults so that uh, you don't waste your time if there's nothing good in them. And there are some that are really bad. So let's get into it. This first one here is pretty good. You got some uh, dinnerware, silver, bronze, and a chest full of gems and money. So that one's good. Go open that one for sure. Uh, let's try this one here, vault number five. It's fun that they're numbered, easy to follow. Uh, difficulty 25. So it's it's going to be hard. You're going to need to have like some good skills here. 1,200 gold, a pouch full of gems and stuff. So that vault number five is very good. Vault number four, I believe, is was really bad, actually. If I remember correctly, the two at the end here are not really worth it but let's take a look vault number four it's really hard 25 uh, yeah so you got some gold and some paintings here so if you're the type of person that uh, likes to decorate your camp I mean these uh, these paintings are good for that but other than that it's not really worth it and vault number three is also not worth it i believe unless you're a uh, a drunk and uh, you like your wine because this guy's collection of wine is in here i mean it's good for your camp i guess if you want to carry all these bottles back to camp it's good to uh, get everybody drunk on a night but yeah this vault is not super worth it if you're not into the whole like wine and camp and stuff like that let's take a look at vault number two See if there's anything good in here. So the back two over there are not good. Three and four, not really worth it. So don't uh, use any tools there if you don't want to open those. So vault number two has a bunch of scrolls. And they're powerful scrolls, which is good. And there's some gold too. So that could be worth it if you're into scrolls and uh, using uh, scrolls to do some damage. That one's good. And uh, let's take a look at vault number one here. I guess I had the key for this one. And this has some gold and a chest. Let's see what's in the chest. It's a diamond and more gold. So yeah, this is worth it. So vault number one is worth opening. Uh, let's take a look now at the other room where you get thrown in as a cat. And I'm going to open the first one. The first one, actually, we opened it before, but... Just to recap, safe number one. So these are safes, they're not vaults. So safe number one has gold and chest with more gold. So that one's pretty worth it uh, if you have the key for it. Safe number two, let's take a look what's in here. Got some uh, weapons, plus two, short sword. So this one's not very valuable. It's not worth it. I mean, you could pick it up and sell that stuff, but not crazy uh, 
not a crazy safe to open uh, safe number three i don't have the key for this so i think we're gonna have to go to all the way to the end here i have a key for this one which i opened before this one has the gold and everything this is uh, safe number eight um i think i got these keys in the room on the second floor of the bank and there's also a bank pass there that you can pick up so that it'll uh, allow you to come down here but let's go back to safe number three and transform back to human form so that I could open it and see what's in safe number three for you. So, uh, so far, vault three and four were no good. Safe three was not that good. And safe four here has some potions. Um, not much really though, of value, I believe. Maybe in the pouch. Oh, we got 92 gold and some, uh, elixirs and more potions and stuff like that so that's not bad if you're an alchemist um, now guys i'm cutting out all the failures that i did like you keep seeing successes but <laughs> there was a lot of failures this vault is empty so do not open safe number four it is a waste of your lock picks and attempts i might have lost like eight lock picks on that one so don't open that one it's empty i'm gonna jump to the next one here safe number five I'm going to cut out all my failures and show you only my successes to save time. Safe number five has a chest with 500 gold in it. So I guess that's worth it. If you could uh, open it in a few tries, it's worth the lock picks. Safe number six. Let's take a look at this. Mm, oh, I missed by one. Let's try again. You might be going through a lot of this. Uh, if your character is not up to the task of lock picking, but uh, just buy a bunch of lock picks before coming here and you'll be fine. This has, I don't know, two backpacks with a few things inside it, like I guess travelers, traveler stuff that they left here behind. So, not an amazing uh, vault to open. Let's try safe number seven. So, safe number six, not amazing. And safe number seven, I'm going to open using the knock gloves. And also, not amazing, an empty backpack and a crate full of clothes. The angelic sign outfit is pretty cool. Um, kind of hard to find. So that's, I mean, if you're into clothes and clothing your characters and everything, that one's pretty cool. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and I hope you go ransack the vaults. Uh, let me know if you found another way to get into there, into those gates. But uh, turning into a cat was uh, my way of doing it. And I hope uh, it helps you uh, get more gold and more items. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.